Let's do some more marginal analysis problems. This is uh, happens to be 211, page 211, number 13. The weekly demand for the Pulsar 25 color LED television is P equals 600 minus 0.05x. And that applies for production level up to 12,000. P is the wholesale unit price in dollars and X is the quantity demanded. The weekly total cost function associated with manufacturing the Pulsar 25 is given by this function C of X. And this is the total cost incurred producing X TV sets. So for part A, we need to find the revenue function R and the profit function P. So first of all, you need to remember from our lessons that uh, to find R of X, we have to multiply P, the demand equation, by X. So for letter A, that means we're going to do R of X equals X times 600 minus 0.05X. And I'll just distribute that x and end up with 600 minus 0.05x squared. The other thing you need to remember is that the profit function, capital P of x, is the revenue function, the amount you bring in, minus the cost function, the amount you spend to produce your units. So what we'll do is we'll subtract these two functions. We've got C of X over here in the problem, and I just computed R of X, which is 600, 600. Minus 0.05X. And I did that calculation ahead of time here. Uh, oops, yeah, this is still part A. Uh, so I ended up with P of X. I got my color button all messed up here. Let's try this again. I'm going to put this in the blooper reel someday. P of x. So we're just going to subtract r of x minus c of x. Now, that minus sign in front of c of x is going to distribute to every term in this function. So all of these signs are going to change when we combine like terms and make p of x. Uh, and when you do that, you end up with you end up with the following equation here. Negative 0 0.000002 x cubed minus 0 0.02 x squared plus 200 x minus 80,000. Sort of had to write that down on the screen there, but that's our function for profit. Now, letter B, we're asked to find marginal cost, marginal revenue, and marginal profit. And you know by now that what that means is we just have to take the derivatives of each of these functions. So on the next screen, I'll list the derivatives. So here's that list of derivatives, those marginal functions. Uh, first of all, let's do the derivative of C. C prime, just following the power rule on this polynomial, I'm going to zero point zero 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 six x squared minus zero point zero six x plus four hundred, and the eighty thousand goes away. The derivative is zero. The marginal revenue function, r prime of x, is going to be six hundred minus 0.1x and then that marginal profit function is negative 0, 0.0 excuse me negative 0. Point, I made my pen a little darker here is easier to write with negative 0. 0.000 
zero zero six x squared minus zero point uh, zero four x plus two hundred. In letter C, we're asked to compute the marginal cost, marginal revenue, and marginal profit with x equal to 2,000. So you just plug 2,000 into each of these equations. You can use your calculator to crank this out. Here are the values that I came up with. C prime of 2,000 is $304. Revenue, marginal revenue at 2,000 was $400. And marginal profit Uh, it's $96. So after producing 2,000 television sets, looks like we're going to have a profit of $96 for that 2,001st television set. So we found the revenue function, the profit function. We found all three of the marginal functions, marginal cost, marginal revenue, and marginal profit. And we computed the marginal values uh, for a production of 2,000. Uh, now we're asked to sketch the graphs of the original functions, C, R, and P, and then interpret uh, what's going on in uh, letter B and letter C when we look at the graphs. So of course, being a technology guru that I am, I'm grinning as I say that, uh, I went ahead and graphed these uh, functions on the Desmos graphing calculator so we can take a look at these things. So let's show that screen. So here are the graphs of those three functions. The red curve that's always increasing happens to be our cost function. Uh, the revenue function is the blue curve and then the profit function is the green one and obviously our profits are significantly lower than our revenue because our costs are so high uh, in fact the profit value will always be the difference between the blue curve and the red curve now uh, one thing I want you to notice is that uh, you can kinda see how this is going to play out. The revenue and the cost are equal at the exact point when the profit is zero, which makes sense because profit is revenue minus cost. And it looks like we're going to maximize our profits somewhere here in the range of maybe 32, 3300 units, just eyeballing that uh, on this graph. So that's kind of an interpretation of what's happening here. And hopefully you get a little better idea of how you're supposed to use derivatives to help you do this marginal analysis. Good luck.